Welcome everyone to the start of a new campaign in the victory of the dual monarchy mod. I'm your host, Hamokalo, and right now we are looking at the screen and if you'd like to read about the version 1.03.2, please go right ahead. Thank you for letting us know uh, of the dev team. Thank you very much. The mods we're using are the victory of the dual monarchy mod, the state central tool mod, as you can see at the top of the screen here, as well as player led peace conferences, but a national focus, shall we? Now we have turmoil in the Reichstag. We've got to begin industrial development as well as a military restructuring, as well as finish the naval plan of 1934. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Let's go with, I want to think, I'm thinking here, industrial development sounds pretty good, especially when you get another research slot. So, since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain in the late 19th century, our country has industrialized quite rapidly. We even became the biggest industrial power at the formation of the German Empire in 1871. Ah, the glory days. But since the end of the Vogue Creek, our industrial growth has stagnated. To better prepare oneself for another conflict, we should kickstart another industrial buildup. Very good. And as you can see, I've already set things up off screen. We're probably going to end up fighting in a two front war, which is totally okay. Okay, Romania, please. We're just Germans. We're just very thirsty for some fuel. Okay, now America, we may have some of our differences here, but we're going to need a lot of fuel because we're training a lot of ships. And we're trying to build up... Oh, actually, we've got so many factories. I don't mind maybe trading away for double what we need. Yeah, we're building up a lot of stuff. Um, like I said, we're probably going to end up in a two-front war. And here are what we have for divisions. We're just making the two infantry divisions mit artillery, which is just 18 combo with infantry with artillery support. Totally cool. Eventually, uh, I want two sides just because we have basically two fronts here, so it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, we can build ourselves up quite a bit. And it's almost February, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And, ooh, Brest-Litovsk payment received. The Russians have sent us the Brest-Litovsk payment for this month. Great. And we'll probably go with improved industrial methods. New industrial methods, such as machining tools, have not been introduced in our industries. We should change it as soon as possible. And, like I say, in every single campaign for uh, the victory of the dual monarchy mod. It goes so fast. I love it so much. Anyways. Uh, ooh, started March payment. Grow. Oh, we own Madagascar? Nice. I love Madagascar. South Africa exists. I don't know how I feel about that one, though. Ah, uh, Deutsch Middle Africa. I love it. I should play as Deutsch Middle Africa. Oppose Germany? Oh. The convince the army to join the uprising? Oh, boy. Empower the worker Africans? This, this looks kind of cool. I'm not sure how much you can actually do down here, but continue with Volneta Vorbeck. Huh. Rule the Indian Ocean. Cool. And secure the military junta's power. Alright, it doesn't seem like you can really do much down here. You can develop areas, but that's kind of cool. Wait. Show our disloyalty to Germany. Oh, boy. Uh, what is this? United African Republic sounds really cool. Where should we try it? Found or fund. Found fund African universities. Cool. Increasing research fundings. By increasing the fundings for research and scientific or scientist facilities, we can possibly get a technological advantage on future enemies. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, we could do good early mobilization, which I would like. Oh. Haljmar, Hjalmar Shock. Ooh, so, sounds like a normally nice kind of dude. Oh, what he's wondering what's all about. Technocrat? Oh, Albert Speer! I love Albert Speer! Awesome! He's he's credited with the Armament's Miracle. I love um, these guys. They had never did anything wrong. Connected citizen, huh? Slightly more political power, some more stability. A liberal journalist and economist. I love Martin Bowman? Hmm. Hmm. So, oh. National Popul... Pop... Populatism support. Okay, cool. Very cool. Now, okay, so when I played as Austria Hungary, the United States of Greater, uh, uh, I mean, not Greater Austria Hungary, but the United States of Austria Hungary, I ask you guys which way we should go the first time when I play as the German Empire, led by Kaiser Wilhelm II von Preussen in this campaign for the first one. And I already know which one we're going down. You'll know in just a little bit as well. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab some more army XP here. And I, want, I think I want to go mobile warfare for this one. Uh, let's see, naval, dive bomber, air stuff. Honestly, hundred more. I said this before. hundred more political power for five percent more research speed is not great, especially when this other one you get ten percent more max speed. So I love Heinz, and actually, we're using Heinz for our uh, little uh, general here. So basic machine tools. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, I haven't done this one yet. Yes, dispersed industry is very, very bueno. Just keep building, building, building. And currently, what do we have for national spirits? We have the general staff. We love it. We've got the Zolverein, which. Ooh, that's a collection of German states to manage terrorist and economic policies, which goes back a few centuries, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. That's pretty good. Vectors of the Valkyrie, obviously, and that hurts us quite a bit. Stagnated economy is not very good. With the House of Hohenzollern, which is good. And the payments. I love the payments. Cool. So you guys are 
all four of you are right here, so you guys, uh, you guys over there. Yeah, so, so, so. Go, you four go right there. Don't even bother me with it. Just, just do it. Very nice. And we're out of fuel again. What else is new? So, what else do we have down here? We're waiting for the Vienna stock market crash, probably. Oh, a deal with miles of manufacturers. Oh, look at this. I forgot about this. Krupp AG uh, Vaca Siemens. Uh, Three-year plan or to the modernization. I like this one. I like that one a lot. Arms moderation. Military factory construction speed. Civilian and military construction speed. Uh, mm, I like the growing economy one. What is down here? No, da -da -da -ba -ba. Oh, we actually get radio detection immediately. That's kind of nice. I kind of like this one, too. As an industrial concern, that's not bad. Um, naval plant of 1934. Might not be bad. Even though we're not probably going to really focus on our navy too much. I would really like to grab this. And I would love to grab this one, because this is one, this one will probably be the one I choose the most. But let's go Krupp. Why not? So we can get the Krupp in, uh, industrial concern. But focusing solely on our economy, we will be able to quickly develop all parts of our nation to make sure no state falls behind another. Make another research, or not research slot, but a military factory. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Let's grab some synthetic oil experiments, because we're going to need it. Uh, the Congress of the United States does not want to get involved anywhere, which makes probably pretty much total absolute sense. And maybe we can go to America and say, let me sucky sucky you for your oil. Thank you. Cool, and we don't actually don't have that many planes, which is actually probably going to be a big, big concern. Hey, look at that. Yes, 1936 light tanks. Please, thank you. We need more guns. We're going to get some anti-air. Some We actually have carriers as well, which is really, really cool. We're going to need some more of this. We're going to need way more fighters, and we're going to use CAS instead of tactical bombers. Even though we started with a bunch of tactical bombers, I already deleted them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to get involved with them. So, it is what it is. I have nothing against tactical bombers, but CAS is just, in my opinion, just a little bit better in general. Let's get some better interwar cavalry fighters. Cavalry? No. Carrier fighters. But like I said, I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and moist. Hmm, I'm not sure if moist is the correct word there. And, ooh, look, and we're training a bunch. We got a lot of ships. As you can see on screen, we got a lot of ships. And we're trying to build another dreadnought and improve carrier hull. A cruiser hull, I mean. Uh, I did want the extra naval XP just so that we can upgrade this stuff. Ah, crap. Stahl, edgy vaca. Because this stuff is okay. We already have deck armor, so hangar space. We have no radar, which sucks. And actually, that's not too bad. That's actually really not too bad at all. Good, 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 good. R, 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 R. Now, we still have a little bit of this. Uh, you know what? Let's go and do this first. Um, build a plan. You know what? I'm going to do this one. I never choose this one. So let's choose to finish the naval plan in 1934. In 1934, the Reichstag agreed upon a buildup of the Kaiserliche Marine. This naval buildup plan was like the ones we did in the early 1900s. This included, includes the design of our first carrier class, Elsass class, using several outdated battleship hulls. The plan also greatly expands our number of U-boats and dreadnoughts. The final phase of this naval out plan is the expansion of the shipyards in the Ost Sea. Very good. So this, now we can upgrade our uh, ships here. Super heavy. Uh, go for more of this. Um, secondary batteries get twos. I actually really like these ones, so there you go. Uh, secondary batteries, even more anti-air, because we're gonna get the the poop like just just destroying us. Tons of tons and tons and tons and tons. Ah, oh, that's really slow. Holy crap! We might as well go. F oh wait, is this a super heavy? Oh my goodness. Hmm, it's quite heavy. Yeah, we're already on. This is a this is a dreadnought, huh? This actually would raise our speed, but lower our attack. Yeah, this is an extremely slow ship. Oh, wow, that took out pretty much all the stuff we have there. It's alright. There you go. Alright, and this cruiser hull is looking okay. It's really not great. But we have enough for that. There you go. Not bad. Improved working conditions. Grow some stuff there. Could probably use honestly a few more planes how close are we to well, about halfway done which is not bad but we got dispersed industry thank you grab some extraction because well we're probably going to need that right and i'm ignoring the naval, naval doctrine for now yeah we don't need ex yet need extraction stuff yet but we will eventually cool payments i love it fighters do we have any extra spare fighters stock market crash in vienna oh boy well that's not good in which we could probably... Okay, so the effects of the stock market crash reaches the German Empire. On Monday, August 3rd, the stock market crash of Vienna opened its doors with yet another major decline in value compared to last week. But this time, it caused massive chaos among shareholders who try to save their invested money. This caused several Austro-Hungarian banks and companies to go bankrupt, and we are also feeling the effects of the crash when our country is facing an economic depression. Mein Gott. Address our economic issues. 
This Vienna stock market crash. It hit our economy very hard. Practically, we aren't economically dependent on to Vienna, but their status as our trade partner triggered a number of crises within our country. Famine is being felt in the cities. Factories are being shut down in all of the merged Germany in a state of desperation, which is absolutely not bueno. They cancel the payments. Uh, the Brest-Litovsk payments for the Russian Republic have been cancelled for a limited period of time to allow them to recover from the stock market crash. We've demanded that payments will have to be continued by afterwards. We can understand their struggle. Yes, banks are under threat of collapsing. Many German people are panicked by the stock market crash in Vienna and scared of the stock market crash in Berlin will crash as well. They are therefore running to the banks to withdraw their assets. Many of the banks are in danger of collapse since they cannot afford to give out this high of an amount. Many are clamoring for immediate government intervention to stabilize this unprecedented financial crisis. Now... Now, does this hurt us later on? Because we have the SPD. We have... Oh, cancelled. Okay. Uh, the D DVP holds on to power. Or do we go the DNVP? Huh. A new Bismarck. Well, that's that's kind of cool. Vakaza und Vaterland. Kind of cool. Cool. I close the banks. Guarantee private holdings. Simply ignore it. Um, I'm going to guarantee private holdings because I don't want people to have... I, we don't want people to lose faith in... The economy and their government. So, Chancellor calls for urgent meeting in the Reichstag. Chancellor Gustav Stresemann has called his, all of his ministers and all representatives or representatives of the German Parliament to urgently meet up in the Reichstag for a discussion about the economic downfall that struck the German Empire last week, or or struck really. This coalition, consisting of the conservative DVP and the Social Democratic SPD, cannot agree upon a good solution to the economic situation in the nation. He had better have a good speech ready. Oh boy. Guaranteed private holdings. Oh, look at that. So, we have the DVP SPD. We've got the DNVP led by Oskar Hacht, the KPD, and the DVP SPD again. Okay. Opinion disregards the current government. A meeting in the Reichstag, called together by the Chancellor himself, Gustav Stresemann, has only worsened the situation in the DV, uh, DVP SPD coalition. They have lost a majority of representatives within the parliament, and they still cannot agree upon a good solution to address the economic issues. What are they going to do? How about we just say, screw everyone, we're going to have snap elections. Yeah. Um, I, I'll be honest here, I want to go mobile warfare, so, like, that's going to take, actually, yeah, that's, that takes quite a, quite a long time to do, but whatever. It's fine, whatever. Whatever. There you go. Never make any. The Kaiser has faith in the coalition. It's now been over a week since the current coalition, led by Chancellor Gustav Stressemann, that of the DVP SPD, which has lost its majority of representatives within the parliament. The situation has since become so extreme that Kaiser Wilhelm II has to step in and come up with a solution to the whole chaos within German politics and society. He states the following I believe with the current state of our great nation, our Chancellor Gustav Strassmann and his government will be put to test and give them the opportunity to solve the problems within our society and politics. The coalition remains in power, but for how long? He knows what is right. Yes. I'm just looking at these guys because France will eventually kill them off. Strikes in Elsass Lothringen? Multiple groups of workers from the factories located in Elsass Lorraine uh, have abandoned their work, mostly caused by the recent economic depression that hit us after the stock market crash in Vienna. There's currently nothing we can do about it. Let them strike. Negotiate with them later. Let them strike. Which probably sounds like it's going to get only worse, but hey, whatever. Address all economic issues, shall we? Yes. Now, do we bail out the estates? Or do we dismiss the unprofitable estates? 70 days, 70 days... Investions program, okay. Reichsarbeitsdienst. Forty-hour work week. Oh, well, I guess we can't do that. Has not let the workers in Elsass Lothringen strike. Well, crap. Well, eh, it's not great. Gold standard. Gehaltskursung. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna play probably, probably play Germany like at least once more, if not twice more. Persian nationalists. Oh wow, Knight of the Long Knives. Um. Hmm. Bail out the estates. Or dismiss the unprofitable estates. Well, we already tried to bail out the... Or make sure that the people had money. So I guess we'll go ahead and bail out the estates. The, or at least make sure that their assets can still be acquired. So, the indebted estates are in desperate need. With this economic program, we will try to rescue these estates to prevent more downfall of our economic state. Oh, we remove Albert Speer. Oh, we get shock as administer. Uh, as a minister. That's not bad. Goodbye, Shock. Or goodbye, I mean, goodbye, Speer. Your services are no longer needed. Come back in 1942 when we're in a, when we're in a state of a two-front war and we need your help. 
Johnson proposes emergency elections. Ever since Kaiser Wilhelm II has stated that the coalition of the, of, well, the two groups will remain in power, Chancellor Gustav Stresemann and his ministers have tried their absolute best to solve the economic situation of Germany, but they have so far failed to succeed, since the opposition has rejected all requests from the coalition, which prevents the coalition from enacting their policies to address the economic situation within Germany. Chancellor Gustav Stresemann has therefore sent a proposal to Kaiser Wilhelm II and the parliament to call out emergency elections to hopefully fix it, or fix this deadlock in the German politics. I think it's time for a change. Who needed political power? Not us, obviously. Alright, let's grab some of that, and I'm going to have to change this up for garrisons as well. 1936, let's grab some of that. Not bad, not bad. Occupied territories. Actually, who do we have for garrisons here? Cavalry divisions. Yeah. Oh, they have tanks on them, though. Nope. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's reset this. Um, I'm going to actually duplicate this. These will be the tanks. We're going to need a lot of army XP for the tanks. There you go. Do that. Go high. Good. The cavalry divisions will just be renamed to garrisons. Since we don't have any other tank template, which really, really, really sucks. Alright, let's make sure we do this properly, because this division uses just infantry equipment, but it's just better to use garrisons for that. There you go, thank you. Uh, cool, we have China. The Commune of... Oh, Nansish is not a core? What? Flandern Valonin? Yeah, that that's okay. Flandern Valonin? Yeah. Uh, Belgium, I, I, Belgium is a disgusting country, but Flander Valonin, now that's nice stuff. That's, that's, that's real stuff. Oh, they continue the payments. The Russian Republic is continuing with the first, or with their brust litovsk payments. We already have successfully received the first payment from them. They've kept their promise, and we enjoy the Russians. People protest against the government. Mass protests of left and right wing workers and businessmen have emerged in the streets of Berlin and several other major cities within Germany. The people are protesting against the poor management of Germany's society by the government. This has been several weeks after the Chancellor proposed emergency elections to be held to stop the deadlock within German politics. Elections are desperately, desperately needed. Turmoil in the Reichstag. With the collapse of the Vienna stock market crash, the coalition between the SPD and the DVP didn't last long. Both parties couldn't agree on an economic plan for the crisis. Now, Chancellor Gustav Stresemann and the DVP don't have a majority in parliament. Many expect emergency elections to be held soon. The Chancellor dissolves the government. Chancellor Gustav Stresemann has finally announced that his coalition, made up of the conservative DVP and the social democratic SPD, has been dissolved. The coalition has been struggling for months at this point to address the chaos within Germany's society and politics. The recent riots that emerged in Berlin and in several other major German cities have been proven, or have proven that the coalition is unable to solve the problems within the German Empire. The emergency election pro recently proposed by the Chancellor are the only future for a stable German Empire. Uh, Chancellor Stresemann has stated that it remained that that he remains a chancellor, but that he has just dissolved his government. But will the Kaiser and the Reichstag be on the same line as him? The situation has become unbearable. Turn more on the Reichstag, which we will do after we bail out the estates. Which we lose more... Oh, wow. Minus 35% uh, stability. Well, that's not really good, now, is it? I like the weekly change, but man, the effects of the Vienna stock market crash minus 60%. Holy crud. And what are we missing? Infantry equipment. That makes sense. That makes too much sense. And then we're going to have to call emergency elections. Cool. The Kaiser and the Reichstag have approved the emergency elections. Not bad. Cool. Alright, so then call emergency elections. As expected, the government hasn't got any alternative. So elections must be called. Otherwise, the country will just continue falling deeper into this economic crisis. Many parties are already starting or started their electoral campaignings. But there's only three favorites who are theoretically capable of securing majority of the SPD, the DVP, and the rising DNVP. The Reichstag and Kaiser approve emergency elections. With the government dissolved by the Chancellor, the emergency elections proposed by the Chancellor about a month ago now have been approved by all but one of the representatives within the Reichstag. Kaiser Wilhelm II has also approved the call for emergency elections. Elections and allows Gustav Stresemann to remain the Chancellor if the DVP remains the biggest party within the Parliament. Let the people decide. Now, um, so, I did the poll, like I said earlier in the video, I asked you guys which route we should go first when I play as the German Empire, especially with what focus we should take going down that route. So, oh, payment received, great. I will show you in just a little bit. Wow, holy, bad words. Are we not repairing? Oh, we're still repairing at least. That's kind of nice. Major companies request bailout. Several major companies in our country, in particular Malzo and Krupp, have requested that the government should bail out the companies to prevent them from going bankrupt. The companies have a high amount of debt due to the situation with the banks. Not bailing out the companies can cause them to collapse, which would cause major panics in the empire. They'll be fine. Bail out Krupp. Bail out Malzo. Bail them both out. Yeah, bail them both out. We're going to lose more political power, but that's fine. Bail them both out. 
Emergency elections. At long last, we have the elections the German people have desperately been waiting for. The three biggest parties consisting of the conservative DVP, the social democratic SPD, and the nationalist DNVP have all done a lot of propaganda to win voters. The future of German society will be decided today. SPD, DVP has never failed us, or DNVP, more glory and stabilization. Well, overall, I haven't gone to it yet, but people want me to go with, from at least from when I did that video, with the DNVP, as well as go down either the Reinforce the Kaza's power or Puppet the Kaza. So, the DNVP rises triumphant. Germany has fallen to nationalism. Some view the DNVP as a moderate nationalistic party, but the speeches they gave left a clear message that their intention is a German dominated Europe. Well, why wouldn't it be? Um, I apologize if you wanted to read that event. I just, I clicked sometimes way too fast. My apologies. Actually, you know what? Let's finish this one first as fast as possible. There you go. They cancel. Why did you cancel not aggression packs? Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Oh, we're actually losing political power every single day. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. More power to the Chancellor. You'll get more daily pickle power. I like that. No more national populism. Yeah, we'll go with definitely this one. More power to the Chancellor. Absolute power to the Chancellor. Nice. Ah, oh, what should we choose, my friends? We'll choose this one, because we can. Alright. More power. The leader of the party and now Chancellor Oscar Hecht will issue a referendum to hims give himself more power in the government. The results of the referendum won't be a problem if you know what I mean. Nice. We get more national daddyism. Well, it's just national populism. It's nothing super important, so. As long as Kaiser Wilhelm II von Preussen is still leading us, I am happy. Oh, we actually have tank... Wait, hold on. We have oh, we actually have tank divisions. Oh, I forgot. We had them up there. My bad. Goodbye. Yeah, I just saw like a bunch of templates here. I'm just like, oh, I don't see it. Because I'm blind. How many can we send? Three. That's not bad. Three little, nice little pieces of armor. Thank you. And we'll send Von Monstein. I usually use Von Monstein, so that's why I went with uh, Guderian, I think. What was it on? Heinz? That's Kerensky, but... Yeah, I usually use... It's either Guderian or Von Monstein. I think I usually use Von Monstein. The Kingdom of Romania seizes their assets. The Romanians have seized all of our assets. We must respond to their hostile actions accordingly. Embargo them? Like, sanctions. Ooh, what is that? VOTMD, Victory of the Dual Monarchy, Romania... Completely embargo them. Nice. The Zolverine countries request aid. Several members of the Zolverine have requested economic aid from us to help them better solve their economic depression. But we barely have anything to send them. Our country is basically bankrupt at this point. We have to do with our own, with per own economic depression. Send them aid anyways. Ignore them. I didn't need political power anyways. Actually, how many planes can we send? Uh, 75? That's not much at all, is it? That's alright, though. Um, Go down to 50. Is that a good enough? 71? That's a very awkward number I'm sending. 71. Go this. There you go. Cool. And we still have no fuel. Just because I wanted to train my guys. Train my dudes. Payment? Nice. You gave us your money. And uh, we'll help kill our enemies off. Or your enemies off. Von Preussen. Uh, he's politically... It's only minus 10%, so it's not that bad. He's going to be an offensive guy anyway, so... Scavenger. Nice. And I usually like going around Sardis and just because it's it always gets attacked so heavily. There you go. Radio. Very nice. Uh, let's grab some more rubber, maybe. Man, we really want to build more stuff, don't we? Cool. Alright, research will be done in a few months. More power to the chance so we get more political power. France announces the Treaty of Vienna, Austria-Hungary ignore. Uh, the Austro-Hungarians have issued a diplomatic protest action towards the announcement of the Treaty of Vienna by France. Uh, I don't lose any more political power, so. Oh, yeah. They don't like us there, huh? That's alright. Get us a lot more army XP, actually. That'd be really good. It sucks not making anything, though. Actually, that's not really good if we're not making anything. Ooh. Yeah, the effects of the Vienna stock market crash as workers strike from Elsa Slothungen. Oh, what are they going to be done striking? 
Um, oh! They should be done, like, May 21st. Uh, we'll remove 21st of May 1937. Okay, so bailouts of Krupp and Mauser pay off. Our recent decision to bail out the companies of Krupp and Mauser is finally paying off. The cost of the bailout has already, begun rec has already been recouped by the companies. I paid off in the end. Nice. Yeah, I think this might be a little bit glitched. Um, this is not good. It's 37, right? May? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I uh, thought I said May. It says March. My eyes... Uh, my mind is just... Uh, uh, where am I? I mm. Oh, let's do this one. Investitions program. To continue our economic reforms, we will launch a program to encourage private investments in both consumer and industrial goods. Doing that will help bring the goods back to the markets before regenerating our economy. Sounds good to me. Can you at least make something here? Make something? No? Okay. I, we really gotta get rid of these uh, stupid little effects. Oof. They hurt us quite a bit. Hey, pounds are little good. Italy gains independence. You gotta play Italy sometime too. Oh, I should be down here too. Hello. Reduce the trade, eh? Well, I hope you're learning a lot. Seven percent, not bad. Wilhelm von Preussen. Politics, Wilhelm the Third, General Desk. Interesting. Oh, we're still missing some guns, aren't we? Hmm. Why do people want to just rise up? Can't they just accept our overlordship? Jeez, guys. So mean. Ah, some things never change. Go and spread out if you need to, man. Love it, Von Monstein. Love it. Well, what I don't love is running out of coffee. Yeah, I'm just here to like help defend. That's really literally why I'm only here. So, three days. Well, get some more fuel. Why not? Actually, grab this one because it takes longer, so we want to get that one done fast as soon as possible. Oh yeah, the French tanks aren't looking too good. Then again, ours probably aren't either since we can't make any more anyways. So yeah. We got two weeks left for that, which is not too bad. Oh, ah, finally, it's May. I There's a big difference between May and March. Obviously, I can't tell, but there's a big difference between May and March. We're finally making more stuff. Thank the Lord. Praise Gott. Actually, what is that in German? Something Gott. What is it? Praise. I don't know. I haven't... I don't think I've ever... I don't ever remember what praise was in German. I don't think I've ever learned that verb. To praise. Praising. Has been praised. Praised daddy. Oh, yeah, look at that. National spirits. National focuses. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. 40 hour work weeks. The current maximum workers' hours for work a day is 11 hours. This reform will improve the workers' morale in our factories. Man. 11 hours a day. That's so nice. Ah, rubber processing. We love the rubber. Radio. Oh, actually, we get radio detection something else, don't we? Yeah, we get rid of detection, so there's no point literally doing that yet, then. Um, mm. Mm-hmm. After that win, then we will choose mechanical stuff? No. Airplane stuff? We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty, I never use scout planes either, though, so. Uh, we do have carriers, so that might not be bad to do immediately. Just in case, since we... Oh, never mind. Four, over 400 days. Wow. Yeah, I'd just rather get ships. Wowzers and Bowsers. Holy crudderinos. Help them out. Help them out. Serbia gains independence. Oh, I still got to play Serbia sometime, too. There you go. Nice. Beat him up. Go, Mancha. He's becoming an organizer, too. That's very, very good. Third's in his back. That's pretty good as well. Can you actually help out here, maybe? Can they pierce some of our guys? Yes, they can. That's all right. About a week left for that. Not bad. A 40 hour work week. The gold standard. Completed three year build up plan phase one. Oh, where's that? Oh, crap. We had, Oh, wow. That is. Wow. Complete, oh. Well, oh, bad words. You actually have to do these focuses as well. Whoa. Um, build up the Deutsche Kriegindustrien. Ah. Wait, where's that one? Deutscher? Oh, it's right there. I see it. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so we gotta do this one. Three year build up plan in phase one. By constructing an economic build up plan to reform and develop our country's industry, we will be able to better become a major industrial power. Well, we get 1.31 every day, which isn't too bad. I would like to get to early mobilization, though, pretty quickly. Are we building anything? No, we're not. Oh, good lord. That is so not good. 
Help the dudes out. Uh, we're going to keep it on... Mm, two is not great. Maybe we get up to th five. I almost said three or five, but that's good enough. Uh, how long will this take? 200... Oh, 600. Jesus Christ. That's so long. I don't think I'm going to do that for now, then. Um, we'll wait and maybe do some maintenance companies. Throw those bad boys on there. Help them out over here, perhaps. Oh, actually, I wonder if I can help them out down there, maybe. Hydrophones. How many guys can I send? Three, huh? Let's see. Anyone good in defense? Eh, Palace, why not? Cool. Nice. Well, it is giving some more army XP, which is nice, but still. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to help out until they get down there, so... Nice. The Balkan League wants to establish a new order in the Balkans. On the initiative of Serbia, several countries have sent diplomats to Belgrade to discuss a new order in the Balkans. During this meeting, the countries also formed a military alliance called the Balkan League. This is clearly aimed against our former ally, Bulgaria, of whom the countries have lost territory in the Valkyrie. If we openly announce our support for Bulgaria, it may keep the Balkan League from declaring war on them. Support? Ah, oh, yeah. Alright, gold standard. The solution of dropping the standard of the gold to then valorize the German mark is widely unpopular since some believe that this crisis won't provoke as many problems in the long term, but to maintain the empire together, we must address the short term solutions. Nice. We got some boys here. Ready to come out and hang out. And then, uh, ooh. Maybe we have to stroll with some French divisions. That'd be really, really nice. If I do say so myself. Now, over here, obviously, with tanks, we're not really doing too much here, so maybe help them out if you want. Oh, them pesky French arenos. Goodbye, French division. Ha ha. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Now go die now. Oh, you're not cu cutting him off. Nope. I'm cutting off that guy, though. Let them kill each other here. Cut these guys off. Immediately go in. Nice. They have nowhere to run. They can't get any more organization, which is good. Can we actually help these guys win? That'd actually be kind of wild if we could. I'm completely ignoring the Russian front right now, which is totally fine with me. Oh, we got him, boys. We got him. We killed him off. Wow. Now, that's not looking good over here, but hey. <laughs> oh, boy. I sacrificed one side to help the other out. Oil processing. Not bad. We got some more extraction. Not bad. Still September, so. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, the main goal is just to make sure they can stop coming in here as fast. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Um, maybe we want to hang out like here. Here. There you go. Yeah, guys, hold. Botna. Go on a tree, guys. It's fine. Alright, you guys are doing a great job down here. There you go. Help out. Sometimes there's a good way to attack, and sometimes there's not a good way to attack, so I recommend the guys that we currently have, don't attack nearly as much, please. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to do that one so we don't lose as many ships. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, we can support the Russian. No, yeah, we don't have enough guns, so. Oh, we can only send two. Oh, crap, that sucks. Uh, I don't even know if we'll be able to get down there in time to help these guys out. I'm seeing a lot of volunteers in this campaign. Wow. And then again, we are Germany, so what do you expect? Uh, planes? Do we have any extra spare planes? Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. We don't want those two African divisions. Oh, 40 hour work weeks gone, huh? Gold standards. Nice. Hold on. I want you to just drain the mother resources as much as possible right now. Yes, that's good. All right. You know, I've, always, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I really don't like having multiple fronts. So, I think I went a little crazy with this one. Uh, Trickster, why not? 
Mm, any other field marshals? I don't think we have any more field marshals. We need to get boys home. I don't like the Romanians here, so let's try to stop them, maybe. Oh, well, crap, that's that's really bad. <laughs> Let's finish economic reforms, shall we? The reforms are complete now. Now we aim to completely end the crisis, and the economy is approving that soon the German industrial power will be at full speed and at full throttle. Now, our soldiers from here should be coming home soon-ish, because I can't imagine them lasting that much longer. Oh, crap, they reinvaded. That sucks. They're going to take out Constantine, which is fine, then we'll get these soldiers back. Hope you're learning a lot, Paulus. Once they lose Constantine, it's over. Um, are, are you guys getting attacked as well, or... No, um... Where do I want to send my boys? I don't want to get encircled and destroyed. You know what? The Serbs love attacking. Just come back over here. There you go. Good luck. No, don't lose. Oh! No! Yeah, we got some of, some of our soldiers back. Let's go back over here. Sorry for all these weird camera angles and spins and such. Oof. I'm just jerking all over the place, which sounds really bad out of context. <sighs> out of context. You're just jerking all over the place. Jesus. Oh, they caught me. I wanted to help Perro. If that's how you pronounce it. Improved working conditions might be really good as well. Uh, oh, but we gotta go here. Early mobilization. Doesn't matter. There we go. Keep building, boys. You're doing the Lord's work. Yeah. Good luck with that, you guys. Pass a sonar? Actually. Can I send volunteers? No, we can't send volunteers because we sent volunteers to the enemies as well. Uh, it is still 37, so it's good to keep in mind. Uh, more attack? It's 190 days, though. I think we can wait on that. Military police. Have you guys not won yet? Like, what's going on, guys? Cool. Von Blomberg. Yeah, these guys are literally just going to go over there. Kind of, so the Arabian League, they're just going to go kaboom and blah 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 and have a good time. Kind of hang out. Did you not get encircled? Okay. Cool. Something fell into my lap. Oh, yeah. Von Blomberg. Hope you're learning. Oh, that is not good. Hold. These guys can get completely cut off if you don't win there. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. They are not doing good over there. Hey, the Russian Civil War ended. Nice. Good job, guys. Only one front to worry about now. Mystery Kingdom. Cool. Yep. And that's what happened when I played as the Ottoman Empire. They rebelled. So I, so I basically had to reload to save because I didn't realize they were going to rebel right there. So I should have been aware of that, but whatever. Oof. That is not looking good. Hey, we won, though. We actually won, so that's good. Maintenance Company won. It's almost 1938, so just grab some more defense. Yeah, that's not good for the Ottoman Empire. They're probably going to not do well, so. Nice. I'm just going to throw you guys over here. There you go. Thank you. So, reform the Zolverein. Um, so spend the uh, Constitution. Okay, cool. The election suffrage within our Constitution is a stone in the shoe for the government of our far fatherland. By suspending the Constitution, we will be able to, ho to totally control the Reichstag, which is no problem for us. Oh, oh, we're still aiding them. Okay, that takes a while to do. It reduces the effects of the stock market crash. Not bad. Good, good, good. Ah, infantry leader and organizer, Montanier. Not bad. All right, well, those guys are gone. Now we can help out the Ottoman Empire. Man, I've gotten involved in a lot of different countries. Oh, I do I really want to send those tanks over there? That could be really bad. I will try it. We'll, we'll put them in a place where it won't cost us, hopefully, too much. There you go. You guys can do that. Actually, actually I'm going to put you guys up to 100. And there you go. Good. You're still making more divisions. Um, we do have more uh, manpower now. Armored cars are not bad to have. Anti-air is not bad to have either. We just don't have enough divisions and just stuff in general. Tsar, for the first abdicate. So goodbye, Tsar. Are you still not done training? Yeah, you're still not done training. Holy crap. Nice. Alright, boys. Welcome to the desert. 
And what else can we grab around here? A captain of industry. I'll probably choose that one next. Unless we can go to partial mobilization? No, we need more war support. We're only 23%. That kind of sucks. Change in authoritarian. A change in democracy. Nah, we good. Oh, got to crack my back. Excavation 2, not bad. And maybe one more focus after this. It is 1938, so I hope you're having a great year, everyone. A great, great year. Uh, come over here. That's fine. I really would like more stability, though. Hmm. It's alright. Can you go over here, maybe? Come out and hang out. Hopefully they can't touch your armor too much. Nope. That's pretty nice. Wow, they're having a little bit of difficulty there. Huh? Cool. Bingo, bongo, wingo, wongo. Oh, there you go. You're on Cyprus. Uh, not really, actually. Hold on. Suspend the Constitution. We don't believe in the Constitution. That's fine. There you go. There you go. We got some enemy planes to shoot down. Sweet. Oh, we changed our flag. Oh, it took me so while to find that the regular flag. Modern electronics. I want to do that, but we got to keep going down here. Eliminate the opposition. Uh, Natalie National Daddyism support. Oh. I kind of want to do this one first. I kind of want to do this one too, though. You know what, screw it. We'll do it this way. Modern electronics. After the Valkyrie, the enemies of the Kazarak are starting to get back on their feet. We need to start using modern electronics to enhance their efficiency in the encryption. Actually, no. I'm doing this one first so we get some more daily national populism support. The recent change in the Chancellor's position has taken too much power from the Reichstag to be handled by only one person. So the Kaiser, the Chancellor, Gustav Stressman, agreed on the creation of a government body which was consisted by the Kaiser, all the princes of the kingdoms, and the duchies within the Empire, and all important members of the DNVP. But I hope you enjoyed this very first episode of us playing as... Deutsches Reich, if you enjoyed it. What happened to the, what the, what happened to the king? Ah, where'd you go? Anyways, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to aid other countries and probably end up in a Valkyrie. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.